Hi guys. Hi. Okay, can you not like jinx me? I'll start. Hi guys. Hi guys. This is my crime diary. Yeah. Right, well, now you might as well keep the whole thing. Okay. Well, <sighs> this week we're back with our second video. Uh, oh, also, we don't just sleep in these clothes and only wear these clothes. We just recorded the last episode and this one back to back. So, if the audio from the last one recorded, if it, yeah, if it recorded, um, we recorded about an if not, hour. I, anyway, it's been a struggle here. Um, Marcus is a little aggro <laughs> because it's not working. Yeah, stuff's the, not working. Things aren't. Oh, you should voice memo this in case nothing like it ends up recording okay well i can't what do you mean you can't i'm already timing it on my phone so you can still time it on your phone as you do a voice memo i'm pretty sure well marcus is doing that okay we're voice memoing just in case i hope everyone had a fab weekend and is enjoying their summer we sure are yeah. <laughs> anyway, sounded sarcastic. This <laughs> this week we're gonna cover the Murdoch murders, and I think this will be two episodes, just because there's a ton of stuff about it. I'm putting my shoes back on. I wore my shoes last Very time nice. because I didn't want my like feet to be out, but I guess that's why I took them out. Oh, well, I don't know if they were. Wait, hold oh. on one sec. Aubrey is readjusting her pants. I'm wearing like one of those athletic dresses, you know? She's wearing, I don't. But I got cold because Marcus's house is perpetually freezing. Perpetually freezing. Oh, I don't know if they could hear that since I wasn't like right next to the mic. I think they can. Probably. So, also, I'm a little sniffly today. So, apologies if I just keep sniffling. But. Oh, I did not research this case because it was a bit unclear between us whether or not we were doing like one where we both talk about the case because you never gave me like a podcast or something and usually we try to go off the same podcast if we're doing it together. Well, I have actually like already, I know quite a bit about this case. I've like listened to a podcast about it too actually, but it was a while back. So yeah. Anyways, Marcus is leading the reins on this one. So. Murdoch. I think it's Murdoch. I think it's Murdoch. I remember in the podcast I listened to, I feel like they had a whole thing where they were like, it's Murdoch. However. But it's M-U-R-D-A-U-G-H. Well, if they clicked on the video, they would, they could see that. The Murdoch murders. Murdoch. But I'm pretty sure it is pronounced Murdoch. If not, sorry. Um... <laughs> My, Sorry. Bad. So, Murdoch murders. Murdoch murders. So, we're starting in February 2019. Woo. TikTok was just created. Was it? I don't know. Uh, I think so. Musically, it was definitely a thing at that point. Not anymore. Well, I mean, like, it was either musically or TikTok, I mean. Oh, yeah. Had Vine already been canceled? Or, like... I thought Vine went away in, like, 2009. No. No, because... Or 2013? Yeah, maybe something like that. Because when I was a kid, and I, for reference, I was born in 2005. So, I remember, like, I never had Vine. I wasn't allowed to have Vine yet. But my older sister had Vine. And I would do the... I would use it, like, on her phone to do the thing where... I don't think... This wasn't even a trend. I just wanted to do it because I thought it was cool that I could, like, cut the video and then, like whatever so mm -hmm. i would do like little bits where i would turn my head and then turn my head from the other way and i would do like where it looked like my head was spinning like a 360 i thought that was the most fascinating thing but i do recall that and so i was at least old enough to be able to, i was like maybe nine or ten perhaps nice eight or nine i never had mine yeah i think the first musically i made was to hotline bling at my friend's house. So we're starting in February 2019. So I'm going to start with 19-year-old Mallory Beach. Mallory Beach. Like sand. 
Like the sand? Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. So she was 19 years old and she wanted to be an interior designer and she was very popular. We're 19 Everyone years loved old. her. I'm yeah. 19 years old. You're 19, right? Yes. Well, I just didn't want to. Well, I know you're born 2004, but I guess, yeah, you're 19. Okay, never mind. Continue. She also had a boyfriend, and his name was Anthony Cook. So on February 23rd, 2019. Where'd they go to school? I don't know. Okay. So don't ask questions. That's well, literally do ask my questions, whole <laughs> but job here. Anyway, February 23rd, 2019. Mallory and her boyfriend, Anthony Cook, mm -hmm. were going to spend the night with friends. The night? Yes. Uh, their night? The night with friends on... Gracious. Okay, P-A-U-K-I-E. Pocky. Okay, that's one thing I cannot do is like when people like... I have I have to see it. I feel like that's Pookie. Pookie Island? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's spelled P-O-U-K-I-E. Pookie? Where's Pookie? the A? Where are you getting an A from Pookie? There's an A in the word. What? Let me see. You just said P A U K I. I said P O U. Oh, I thought I thought that was an O. Okay, then it's Pocky probably. Okay, right. Pocky Island. Or Palky. Palky. Where is it? Palky. Like where's Pocky Island or P A U K I E? God, you're not a very look good up researcher. Pocky Island. I'm gonna look up where Pocky Island is, and maybe I could figure out where how it's pronounced. It's in California. Well, that's all I needed to know. Oh. <laughs> and it's probably like I thought you wanted like coordinates. Or maybe it's like Packy. I mean, P A U K I E. P A U L Paul. So Pa Pa. That's on Pocky. 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 We've been talking about this for four minutes. That's fine. How do you pronounce it? I'm looking it up. Don't you dare move on. Pronunciation. You know, strangely enough, there's not something popping up to properly pronounce Pocky Island. Well, I only need to say it about twice. All right. Well, I guess we can move on. So Pocky Island. So the couple decided to first stop at the Murdoch Island because they're very rich. They own a law firm. The Murdochs. The like inherit or like families, they have a law firm, so yeah. it's like in, it's family money. So the whole island is like named after them. I I guess they own the island. It's like oh. their own little island. Is it like a little private island or yeah. is it like? It's not like a big island. Oh, it's like private, but anyway, um, the island was of course. Oh, what was that? Of course owned. <laughs> That's such a foul sound. By. The Murdoch family. Mm -hmm. And that has been covered. There they had a son called Paul Murdoch. His name was Paul Murdoch. And he was like 19. So he was around this, he was the same age as Mallory and Anthony. My eyes twitching. Sure, I ever do that? No. I feel like it happens sometimes if I have too much like caffeine or something. So Mallory, Anthony, two other friends, and Paul and Paul's girlfriend. Paul Murdoch. Yes. I thought that's so been there covered. Are, yeah, it has been covered. I was just clarifying because I'm not really an auditory learner here. And you have the notes in front of you and I can't see them. Okay, well. I don't remember the names because when I was like listening to the podcast, I wasn't like thinking of their names. There's six people. Okay, cool. Including Mallory, Anthony, yep. and Paul Murdoch. And they're all like around the same age, like yep. 19? They're all friends. Okay, cool. And so they all are meeting at the Murdoch Island just before they go to this party. So party. they all decided to take Paul's boat to Pocky Island. Okay. And so while on the boat, people were drinking. drinking? Yes. Underage? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. So that was not. Mischievous good. children they are. That was not. Not what? Good. Not good. <laughs> okay. And so, so security cameras. These days. I know. The nerve. The nerve. So security cameras from like a local little store showed them buying alcohol with fake IDs. I don't know if they can hear you whisper that whispery. Fake IDs. 
voice. You gotta like stage whisper. Fake, fake IDs. Fake IDs. God. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> Do you and like so, my term of stage whisper? I was kind of proud of my little <laughs> terminology there. All right. Maybe. Okay, so <laughs> then they bought a whole bunch of alcoholic beverages, and so then they decided to load the boat, and then they were off to Pocky Island Cool. around 7 p.m. that night. Mm-hmm. And do you remember the date? Does it matter? No. 19-something. Oh, JK. What? 20, it was like 2013, <laughs> right? Or like, February 23rd, 2019. All right. 23rd, 2019. I'm going okay. to remember it now. So then they went to the Pocky Island for a house party that was on this. I guess it was just their friend. Um, and so they stayed until around midnight-ish. Mm-hmm. So from 7 to midnight. It's a long party. Well, they had to boat there. Oh, yes. Go boat. Boat back. Yeah. Well, actually, not boat back. They left around midnight. They oh, left they this house boat party under the influence. No, they did. Oh, they did. That's like the whole, whole point, actually. Does he have they his were boater's already, license? At least I would assume so. Why would you assume so if he's such a? Well, the law none or? of my research showed said that. Mm-hmm. That he didn't. That, that he, he didn't. didn't. So I would okay. assume he did. Because I feel like that would have been like a bigger like. Quite the presumption. Anyway, so. Drinking boat, Pocky, and... And then from Pocky, drinking more than boat. Still drinking. Yeah. And after they got back onto the boat, Paul Murdoch, Mm -hmm. so he insisted that they all go to the bar. And everyone was like, no, no, no. That would be We want to go to bed. (laughs) No, no, no. (laughs) Let's go to bed. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they were all just like we're too t- we're too tired we've been too many illegal activities yeah we need to go only home only so many in a night right yes yeah four max it has it been four i don't know <laughs> i don't think it's been four and so i almost bit my nail again i did it once already sorry Bad. sorry mama anyway continuing so he insists they go to the bar so they get onto the boat and then they sail away into the water Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they park the boat at the marina sure by the bar big word mine gets not (laughs) and that's around 12 45 a.m wait they're parking at the marina at which island is this the murdoch island no this is land oh well okay city an island is still they're going to the bar okay but oh just they're going they're back to the cali Back to Cali, California. Yep. And so they park in the marina. They dock in the marina. I'm not really entirely sure that that is the proper term for this. Anyway, so scenario, they but they park the boat around 12:45. Okay. Cool. A.M. Mm-hmm. And so Paul and his friend Connor, which was one of the guys that was with them, mm-hmm. they go up to the bar, and so it was like a bar was right. I guess the pier. Not pier. The dock, like, connected to the bar. So you could, yeah. this was, like, what it was made for, to come up and then go to the bar. You know what? This reminds me of, what? like. What? <laughs> I didn't like that. Um, I've been on a boat in California. Fornia. It's just fun to say it like that. Um, last year. I have been, too. And, I know. Probably, Two years. Yeah. You go. Yeah. I have to cycle everyone in. I was waiting for you to say something like that. <laughs> and, you know, I did go. We docked off and there was like docked off. Whatever. We parked the boat. We parked the boat. <laughs> and like right on the dock, there were bars. So I can attest that that is a thing that happens. That is We there. have a witness here. Yep. And so <laughs> they go to Paul and Connor go to the bar and they order two rounds of shots. Oh, my goodness. So that's. I guess two for each of them. I I mean I, I would suppose unless they're well, just I buying for I've a never, random never group been to of a like bar the exact or drink a shot. Drink a shot. I've I don't never think drink, that's proper. Drinking a shot or tense never grammar. Chugged a shot. I don't think one chugs a shot. I've never sipped a shot. Or does that? Slurped a shot. 
taken, perhaps. I thought I said taken first. I don't know. Lost they took two shots knowledge. each. And so then Crazy. everyone else was still on the boat because they were like, we're tired. We need to go home. So then who is everyone? Just Paul and Connor? Yes. What? Okay. They went and took two shots and then they were like, well, we're good now. So then they went back to the boat. <laughs> okay. I need to flip my page here. You know, it's Paul is kind of an interesting name these days for like a younger. I mean, have you ever met a Paul our age? No. Isn't that kind of interesting? I guess so. It's like someone named like, I don't know. Deborah. Like Steve or something at our age. Or Deborah. <laughs> yeah, that would be odd too. Wait, isn't that your grandmother's name? No. My grandma's name is Beverly. Oh, that's right. And Beverly makes sense for a grandma name. I think that's a pretty name though. So in those 15 minutes, now it's around 1 a.m. They took the shots and now it's 1 a.m. Cool. So yeah. Paul was very under the influence and he wouldn't let anyone else drive the boat he was like it's my boat true wouldn't want someone without the license no. to be driving that would be reckless yes yes, yes. so then around 1 15 security cameras um get them boarding the boat boarding the boat mm -hmm. and taking off so this is they're like undoing the ropes and stuff you know mm -hmm. and this is the last time mallory beach is seen alive and Mallory is, is she just a friend or is she someone's girlfriend? She's Anthony's girlfriend. And Anthony's But they're just, just friends. Friend. They're all just friends. I wonder if they were friends before or if like Mallory's just friends with the rest of them through Anthony. You know? I don't know. Changes the dynamic. You can't ask her. Wow. Well, how, way to um, jump ahead. Spoil sounds wrong. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Yeah, I don't. Anyways, moving on. Back in. Back in. Anyway. So, yes. So, now they're on the water. Paul's very drunk, and he's doing circles. Circles? A.K.A. donuts. I was, about to, I was trying to think of what they were called. And everyone was like, it's a no -no. stop it. No, this is reckless. Yeah, reckless and endangerment. Yes. And so then when he wouldn't, he wouldn't stop or slow down. Yeah. And so everyone was like, stop it, stop it, stop it. And so then mm -hmm. they're out there. It's now 12, it's now 2.20 in the morning. Dang, he'd been doing donuts for two hours? Or well, one they, hour? You said they were after the shot. It was around 1 a.m., right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And was... then they left on security camera around 1.15. Mm -hmm. So it's been like an hour and five minutes, actually. Okay. Since the security camera. So at this point in time the boat is now at 12 20 the boat crashes into 12, the 20 or 120 220 you said 12 oh i'm at 2 20 a.m the boat crashes into archer's creek bridge and connor dials 911 okay they got service out there i guess so i guess they're by a bridge so they so probably weren't service. far from land yeah and so well, they crashed like into like one of the like pillars of the bridge, so like they're the like wood close to. I just broke the fourth wall. I looked directly at the camera. I just did it again. I forgot about the camera for a second, and I'm aware of it again. Great. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so, it's so, Anthony. What did I just say? Oh. They so, crashed into the pillar of the bridge. Yeah, so all the friends, they're like, where's Mallory? Where's Mallory? And first responders, they're looking for Mallory. They're looking for Mallory. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what are they looking through? It's like a closet. The water. Like, close. <laughs> well, they're swimming out there. Yes. No, probably not. They're probably yes. on like a boat. Same potato, potato. Potato, potato. And so Anthony... He tells the police that Paul was the last one he remembers driving the boat before the crash. How would they not like for sure know that? Like, what do you mean remembers? Like, well, he was just he was telling the police like Paul was the one driving. Okay. And he said that he tried to, um, like make him stop, but he wouldn't calm down, and he was just doing them circles, and then he crashed into the bridge. Mm -hmm. And so then, um, he tried to like rush Paul because when he got off the boat. Paul was like smiling and he was like laughing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he knew that they couldn't find Mallory. Mm -hmm. So he was like, 
And so then he was trying to rush Paul. What do you mean rush? Like grab him, like punch him. Why'd you say rush? I don't know. He was like trying to like bring him back to reality or something. What do you mean grab him? Like get him out of the boat? He wanted to like punch. He wanted to just like fight Paul because he's okay. made Mallory go missing. And now he's like smiling about it. And who is this that wants to fight Paul? Anthony, Mallory's the boyfriend. The boyfriend, okay. And first responders have to like hold both of them back. Mm-hmm. This I yawned. Trying to suppress. Was that a yawn? Mm-hmm. You yawned with your mouth closed? Dang, Nabbit. You saying... Us saying yawn now makes me need to yawn. Get a load of this. I bet everyone listening also <laughs> just yawned. All right. Okay. So the first responders do um, write down that there was blood found on the, bloat f- the boat the four. Boat. And everyone except Anthony went to the hospital to get checked out. Because Anthony wouldn't leave until um, he wanted to find Mallory. Okay. So he wouldn't leave. Mm. So Connor, he had a broken jaw. Connor had a girlfriend named Morgan. Morgan's hand was broken. And Ooh. Paul's blood alcohol content was 0.24. Dang. Which for all you at home, regular is 0.08. So it's three times the that's legal limit. That's not regular. That's like, that's legal the legal limit. limit for like adults driving under the influence. Yeah. Which they are neither. Which I don't know, like. Driving under said influence. Does one drink make you point zero eight? No, I think that's supposedly about, like, two drinks. Mm. Which would be the equivalent of those two shots alone. Or, like, two. I saw a TikTok and it was, like, drinks. two beers or, or a beer is a shot. Yeah, one, like, one, one drink. Like, usually, like, a 16-ounce, like, seltzer or something like that. Is or, like, beer. one shot. What, yeah, it's that's, like, Which all is considered one, beer. one drink. And then, like, a wine, one wine or something, like, a glass of wine is considered, like, I think it's, like, a drink and a half or something. Or it, it's, like, much less wine. Is more alcohol? Well, it just has a higher, like, alcohol content. So, it's, like... Like, a glass of wine is not the 16 ounces in, like, a beer, but they would be, like, equivalent because they're both considered, like, one drink because mm. they're, like, the same in that. that okay. makes any sense. So, Paul did have a dad, and his name was Alex Murdoch. And he came to the hospital when, I obviously, he heard everything that was happening. And he was seen going room to room between the kids. Mm-hmm. And... Um, a security guy remembers seeing him like do this like weirdly like going in each room and talking to them kind of like they were trying to get their like stories get the story straight straight. Mm -hmm. and the security guard then heard him say so alex murdoch got on the phone paul's dad and was like she's gone don't worry not good not good the thing is though and I have listened to this podcast, but to be honest, I don't really remember exactly how it goes or like I've listened to the story before, but you would think that like, even if it had been premeditated that they were like going to, or like it was premeditated, at least on like Paul's part or something that they were like, how would he, in, How I don't know, like if she supposedly like flew out of the boat or something during the crash which I guess we don't know that that's what happened, but I guess that's what's implied as of now. Like, how would you plan that, first of all, that just her would, like, fly out, you know? Yeah. And also, if his blood alcohol content is that high, I don't think he's got much, like, much going on in the brain, you know? Yeah. To, like, be, what's my word? Devious. I'd like, like to carry out a plan. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. I think that's true. But, yeah. But I also don't know if he just meant, like. What? Like, no body was found, so, like. Oh, like, so maybe, like. Like, don't worry the don't worry evidence, the like, or, like. Or maybe it's, like, don't worry, we haven't found her. 
dead. So she's, she's gone. She, Don't worry. So like, well, like maybe she's alive though. Is maybe like could maybe. be. But was. it was malicious. What was malicious? Him saying it on the phone. Oh, like in the way he said it was malicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we're gonna zoop to March third, twenty nineteen. <laughs> So, eight days. Wait, no, don't tell me. It's the next month. It originally happened on the 23rd. Mm-hmm. Eight days. Oh, because February. Oh. Weird month, February. So that would be like five plus three, so eight, yes. So this is eight days after the crash. Mallory's body is found in the river five miles from where they crashed the boat. Which I guess isn't that big of like a... I was about to say... Because the current and stuff. Yeah, but if they're in... Well, they're in the ocean, right? Not like a lake. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes more sense. I was about to say a lake isn't exactly having like, I guess it still has a current, but. Okay. But, but there were still like searches during that time. So I think it's kind of weird. Like, well, it's also kind of interesting that it, they, her body was found in a river or honestly, if they were out in the ocean, it's kind of odd that her body was found at all if not like by a oh no like, they're in the, the river beach, like on a shore oh they were i just think it's like a really big river well you just said they were in the ocean when i just asked you if they were in the ocean right and you said yes no rewind river okay so i guess there's a bridge in this river and then there's like two islands in the river as well Like little islands. There's no way. Lake Worth has an island. Really? Yes, and a bridge. Well, uh, the bridge I understand, but an island? Yes. More so than like the size of this room? Yes. It's going to be a big old river. Goatman Island? I think that's what they used to call it. I have no idea. Anyway, so Mallory's family... Then files a wrongful death suit against the Murdochs. Because Mallory's mother? Her family. Okay. Because Paul's the one that was driving it. Mm-hmm. And so on April 18th, 2019, this is actually Mallory's would have been 20th birthday. Paul, About two months later. Yes. <laughs> Just got to keep job. your story straight. Thanks. Um, so Paul Murdoch, he was finally charged with three counts of felony boating under the influence, including causing death of Mallory Beach. I wonder what the three counts were of other than... The I don't murder. know, because I oh, guess... driving under the influence and... Well, Anthony didn't go to the hospital. I said everyone went to the hospital, except but... Except Anthony. Oh, I was thinking you said Paul. Okay, yeah. But and I guess Paul didn't count, and then... Connor broke his oh, jaw. Oh, so like he, he, maybe they, he injured the rest of them. Maybe okay. that's yeah, like yeah, yeah. the counts. I don't know. But he pled not guilty, and then he got out on bond because they're rich. Mm-hmm. And so then... And she, also, I guess they don't have any really like good witnesses other than other drunk kids. Yeah, and they're all under age, so they yeah. probably wouldn't want to like say anything anyway because that's like just admitting to partaking yeah but isn't there like a law that protects you against that if you're trying to like help people don't know the good samaritan law i'm did you just make that up no it's actually called that but i'm just kind of unsure of like what i've always been unsure of like what exactly it like actually covers because there's a lot of like unless like it's like protects you from I guess, like, incriminating yourself if you're, like, calling police or something to try and help somebody else. But the thing is, it's, like, unless you were doing something, like, obviously. It gives – the Good Samaritan Law offers legal protection to people who give reasonable assistance to those who are or whom they believe to be injured, ill, or in peril, or otherwise incapacitated. See? Killed it. Good Samaritan laws are written to encourage bystanders to get involved in these other emergency situations without fear of being prosecuted. Yeah, but there's still like, which I think is a great thing to have, but there's a lot of loopholes in it. So yeah, I feel like it could get very. It's a little schemy. Well, also just like, 
like in a lot of cases, you still can end up being like incriminated, I think. Yeah. Depending on like the scenario. Okay. Anyway, June 7th, 2021. 2021? Two mm-hmm. years later? We're jumping. Okay. Paul's still on bond. They haven't had the trial yet. Um, Alex Murdoch, Paul's father, dials 911 around 10.07 p.m. on the summer evening. Okay. And. What does he say? Well, Aubrey, I'm glad you asked. He actually discovered the bodies of his son, Paul, and oh. his wife, Maggie. Oh. And they were shot to death. All right. I really don't remember this case like I thought I did. And they were also at their hunting lodge on Moselle Road. How's it spelled? M-O-S-E-L-L-E. Moselle? Moselle. Something Madame to that That's Mademoiselle. Mount Roselle. Moselle Road on Islington County in California. Okay. Are you following? Okay. okay. So he calls around 10 07. Uh, somehow police don't get there until 11 47. Mm-hmm. An hour and 40 minutes later. All right. So they get there. And then the next day, it if it wasn't confirmed the night before, the next day it is confirmed that Paul and Maggie were the victims of a double homicide. And Alex just came home and found them. Does it say like when they when he came home to find them? At ten oh seven. Oh. Like he came home just then. And oh then... yes, yes, yes. He came home at ten oh seven p.m. Yep. Correct. Do we know what he was doing until ten oh seven p.m.? We'll talk about that later. Okay. And so, yep. And they both suffered multiple gunshot wounds throughout their body. So they were shot multiple times. Mm-hmm. So. Alex said that he was away from the house when this happened. Mm-hmm. He was not there. And when he got back, he just found them. And then he called for help because what else would he do? Mm-hmm. And so then along with this. And the police didn't come for an hour after? Mm-hmm. Well, I and guess. 40 that, minutes. Yeah. Oh, uh, so almost two hours. But I guess that like, I mean, two hours is still like a ridiculously long time. However, like I would get like a little bit of delay. But I'm guessing it's if like it's their lodge. hunting lodge, it's like out. In the, yeah, that's what I mean. Like. But nothing is two hours away from, like, so, civil, civilization. Civilization. Civ- civilization. 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 Yes. Civilization. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this causes the police to double check a case that they previously had looked into and closed. Mm-hmm. And this was the case of Stephen Smith. And so he was found so many cases. on a country road, dead, deceased. Okay. And it was first believed that he was a victim of a uh, hit and run. Like or he was like hit by a car? vehicular manslaughter. Oh, like intentional? Well, no. No. no manslaughter that's not is on accident. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I don't like that manslaughter. Who came up with that? Because like, that sounds term. more like. It sounds. You slaughtered them. Yeah. And slaughter and itself it. is just a like, terrible word. Okay. Anyways, you anyway, could just call it like accident, accident, accidental, accidental kill. You know, there's a little mm-hmm. hyphenated action there. Just mix the words. Whoopsie kill. <laughs> That's so terrible. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Moving on. So. I'm getting hungry. So, like I said, moving on. Stephen Smith, he was 19 years old, like I said, and this, when he was found deceased, it was in 2015, and he was laying, like I said, in the middle of the road in Hampton County, and police thought he was hit by a car, no sp- suspects were ever brought in, and it just kind of stayed Went at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so... So why'd they, like, reopen this case for this one? Like, I don't see how they're at all connected. Well, yeah, me neither. <laughs> But all my research, it was just like, and then the police reopened this case, reopened this case. But I think it was because he was the same age and he was connected to the kids somehow. Same age as who? All the kids. All the kids were the same Mallory, age? Anthony, Cook, oh. Paul. He was the same age they were and they knew him. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so this only happened four years before. So they would have been 15 uh-huh. when he was 19. 
which isn't that big of a like I don't feel like it's still like high schoolish. Yeah. But I feel like that's one of those things where like any 15 year olds I know, unless they're like, which I don't have any family 15 years old, I don't think. But I mean, like, aside from family, if you're a friend, like, I don't know. I'm not like, oh, my God. Any 15 year old I know is just kind of an acquaintance, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You know? They're yeah. You like, wouldn't see him as like a friend mm-mm, or like be, I don't know, even like I would just kind of know of them. Yeah. But that is where that story ends. And now we're going to jump back into the actual story of the Murdoch murders. Oh, That's just like a little side thing for a, for a second. That's going to sit there. Okay. And we're just going to grab that in a second, in a cool. little bit. All right. Mm-hmm. And that's it for this episode. You all join us for next week. Wow, you left us on such a little cliffhanger. Oh, my goodness. I got you so good. It's okay. Actually. Um. Yeah, sorry, this one. I don't. Yeah, and so this one was a little shorter than normal. Sorry. But. Sorry. We're trying to figure everything out with the camera and everything. Because it's harder. I mean. For me, not Aubrey. Yeah, she I does nothing. I do nothing. Ever. All right. Every now and then I do something. I made a little bit of the board. Not much. Yeah, she did make the bigger pieces. You can't tell. This is all like pieced together. Yeah. Anyway, next week we That's will continue teams. the story of the Murdoch murders and we'll finish it and we'll figure out what happened to Mallory and what happened to Maggie and Paul. And Connor. And Stephen. And Connor. What right? is Connor. I mean, why is Connor in this? He's Connor's Paul's just one of the friend, friends. Right? Yeah. yeah. So. Well, he just got his jaw broken. Well. That's the last we hear of him. He's well, not I in wouldn't it anymore. Know that because I not guess that's true. To. Um, and then after we finish this one, we will probably cover Jean Bonnet. Jean Bonnet. Unless Aubrey leaves for like a week and a half. I might be going out of town. Oh, I didn't think about how we're yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll figure something out. Peace. Um, oh, leave a leave a review or like Smash a five star button. if you're feeling. Anyway, we'll see y'all next week.